A giant wobbles Din Tai Fung in China, Din Tai Fung. The name alone conjures up images of perfectly pleated soup dumplings, steaming baskets, and lines snaking around the block. It's a name that resonates with food lovers around the world, a symbol of culinary excellence. This Taiwanese chain, a global phenomenon, has become synonymous with quality, consistency, and frankly, deliciousness. From its humble beginnings as a cooking oil retail shop, it has grown into a beloved brand with locations in major cities worldwide. So, when news broke that 14 Din Tai Fung restaurants in North China were shutting down, people were shocked. It was as if a culinary institution was crumbling before their eyes. Was this a sign of the apocalypse? For food enthusiasts, it certainly felt like it. Okay, maybe not the apocalypse, but definitely a big deal in the food world. The closure of these restaurants sent ripples through the industry, raising questions and concerns. Din Tai Fung has been a mainstay in China for over two decades. Its presence in the Chinese market was not just a business venture but a cultural phenomenon. They entered the Beijing market with a bang and quickly won over the hearts and stomachs of locals. Their grand opening events were celebrated, and their dumplings became a staple in the local diet. Their restaurants, known for their open kitchens and meticulous dumpling-making process, became go-to spots for families, friends and even picky eaters. The transparency of their cooking process added to their charm. So, what went wrong? Well, it's complicated. Like any good drama, this one involves internal conflicts, external pressures, and a healthy dose of uncertainty. The story behind the closures is layered and multifaceted. The official reason for the closures? Disagreements among the board of directors. These disagreements were not just minor squabbles but deep-seated issues that couldn't be resolved easily. Apparently, renewing the business license for North China operations required a unanimous vote which they couldn't get. The lack of consensus among the board members led to a standstill. It's like a family feud but instead of arguing over grandma's china, they're arguing over soup dumplings. The stakes were high and the emotions even higher. And unfortunately in this case, everyone loses. The closure of these beloved restaurants leaves a void in the hearts of many. A reminder of how fragile even the most established institutions can be. Now, I'm no business expert, but I've watched enough Shark Tank to know that boardroom disagreements are never simple. They are often filled with intense debates, clashing egos, and a myriad of complex issues that need to be resolved. There's always more to the story, layers of context and background that aren't immediately visible. And in Din Tai Fung's case, that more is a potent cocktail of post-pandemic challenges and a shifting economic landscape. The restaurant industry has been hit hard, and the ripple effects are still being felt. Imagine you're on the board of Din Tai Fung. You've just emerged from a global pandemic that shut down restaurants worldwide. The challenges are immense and the stakes are incredibly high. People are still hesitant to eat out, inflation is soaring, and the competition in the food industry is fiercer than ever. New restaurants are popping up, trying to capture the market share that was lost during the pandemic. Plus, there's that one board member who's been reading too much doomsday prepping literature and thinks the world is ending. His paranoia adds another layer of complexity to the already tense discussions. Good luck getting everyone on the same page. The boardroom becomes a battlefield of ideas, with each member pushing their own agenda. The board's inability to renew the business license is a symptom of a larger issue. The restaurant industry is in a state of flux. Regulatory hurdles and bureaucratic red tape only add to the frustration. The pandemic forced businesses to adapt or die, and many are still struggling to find their footing in this new normal. The path forward is uncertain and the pressure is mounting. Let's be real, the pandemic messed everyone up. But the restaurant industry? They got hit particularly hard. Lockdowns, social distancing, and general fear of human contact put a damper on dining out. Suddenly those bustling restaurants with lines around the block were ghost towns. And even when restrictions eased, things didn't magically go back to normal. People had gotten used to cooking at home, ordering takeout, or simply avoiding crowded places. Plus, with inflation eating away at everyone's wallets, those fancy dinners out became a luxury many couldn't afford. So, while some restaurants managed to pivot, adapt, and thrive, Shout out to the pizza delivery heroes, others weren't so lucky. The closures of these 14 Din Tai Fung locations are a stark reminder that the pandemic's impact on the restaurant industry is far from over. 
Remember those pre-pandemic days when you couldn't walk down the street in a major city without tripping over a selfie stick-wielding tourist? Yeah, those days are gone, at least for now. International travel, a major source of income for restaurants and tourist hotspots, plummeted during the pandemic. And while it's slowly recovering, it's nowhere near pre-2020 levels. This is bad news for businesses like Din Tai Fung, which relied heavily on tourists, especially those with a taste for authentic soup dumplings. Imagine you're a tourist in a new city, you're hungry, you're tired, and you just want something delicious and familiar. Enter Din Tai Fung. It's a safe bet, a known quantity, and a guaranteed good meal. But with fewer tourists wandering the streets, those safe bets become less reliable. Section 5 800 Stories of Uncertainty The closure of these 14 Din Tai Fung restaurants isn't just a business story, it's a human story. Nearly 800 employees are now facing unemployment, their livelihoods thrown into uncertainty. These are chefs who've spent years perfecting the art of the soup dumpling, servers who know the menu by heart, and dishwashers who keep the whole operation running smoothly. They're not just numbers on a spreadsheet, they're people with families, dreams, and bills to pay. And let's not forget the 23 Taiwanese nationals working at these locations. They came to China for an opportunity to be part of the Din Tai Fung success story. Now they're facing an uncertain future far from home. Section 6. A promise to employees and customers. In the wake of the closure announcement, Din Tai Fung issued a statement. They expressed regret, promised to handle severance packages fairly, and vowed to address customer concerns especially those with unused gift cards. Now I know what you're thinking, corporate PR speak, and you're not entirely wrong, but it's important to acknowledge that Din Tai Fung is at least trying to do right by its employees and customers. They're not just shutting down shop and disappearing into the night. Whether they can fully deliver on their promises remains to be seen. But for the sake of those 800 employees and countless loyal customers, let's hope they do. Section 7 Din Tai Fung's Chinese Balancing Act. So, what does the future hold for Din Tai Fung in China? It's a question that weighs heavily on the minds of many. It's a billion dollar question, literally, and no one has a crystal ball to predict the future with certainty. But here's the thing, Din Tai Fung is a resilient bunch. Their spirit and determination are unmatched. They've weathered storms before, and they're not going down without a fight. Their history is a testament to their tenacity. They're already exploring new opportunities in other parts of China, expanding their reach and influence. Adapting their menus to local tastes, they ensure that every dish resonates with the local palate. And finding ways to navigate the post-pandemic landscape, they are redefining their operations to meet new challenges. It's a delicate balancing act, requiring precision and care. But if anyone can pull it off, it's them. Their confidence and teamwork are their greatest assets. Think of it like this. Din Tai Fung is like the Jackie Chan of the restaurant world, they're agile, they're adaptable, and they're always on their toes, and they're always finding creative ways to overcome obstacles no matter how daunting they may seem. They might have stumbled with these 14 closures facing significant setbacks, but they're not down for the count. They're ready to bounce back, stronger and more determined than ever before. Section 8. Looking Beyond the 14 Closures Yes, 14 restaurant closures are significant. But let's not forget that Din Tai Fung still has a massive presence in China. They have hundreds of locations across the country, each one serving up those iconic soup dumplings. These closures, while unfortunate, are a blip on the radar for a company of Din Tai Fung's scale. They're a sign of the times, a reminder that even the most successful businesses aren't immune to external pressures. So the next time you see a Din Tai Fung, don't mourn the loss of those 14 locations. Instead, celebrate the hundreds that are still thriving, serving up deliciousness one perfectly pleated dumpling at a time. Section 9 The Future of Xiaolongbao A Speculation Now, for a little speculation, I'm not saying I have insider information, but I'm also not saying that. Here's what I think. Din Tai Fung is going to use this as an opportunity to innovate. They'll analyze the market, adapt to changing consumer preferences, and come back stronger than ever. Maybe they'll introduce new flavors, experiment with delivery services, or even open a chain of Din Tai Fung food trucks. Just imagine those lines. The point is, Din Tai Fung is not a company that rests on its laurels. They're constantly evolving, always striving to be the best. And in the competitive world of soup dumplings, 
That's the recipe for long-term success. Section 10. A Delicious Legacy, Uncertain Future Din Taifung's story is a reminder that even in the world of food, nothing is guaranteed. Tastes change, economies fluctuate, and boardroom disagreements happen. But it's also a story of resilience, adaptability, and the enduring power of a really, really good soup dumpling. So let's raise a glass or a steamer basket to Din Taifung. May they continue to navigate the challenges, innovate, and most importantly, keep those soup dumplings coming. Section 11, List of Affected Stores. For those keeping score at home, here are the 14 Din Tai Fung locations that are closing. Yu Yang Store, SKP Store Parkview, Green Store Asterisk APM Store, China World Trade Center Store Asterisk Kuiwei Department Store, Century Gold.